Many people don't even think that significant change initiatives can even occur in large organizations. That large organizations aren't capable of massive change and that individuals are not capable of true behavior change. That's absolutely not true. There have been significant movements of change and we believe that to get change to happen, it's not a checkbox of a change management system of communications and training. It's actually the unleashing of a movement of individuals making this change happen and great movements have happened. I participated for many years in the quality movement. And if you think about the quality movement that swept across the world of manufacturing and ultimately all organizations, it was not necessarily a centralized movement. The real quality movement was led by the black belt of Six Sigma down at the plant level. The person who ran a TQM, Total Quality Management Process Improvement Team at headquarters. People lead movements. People through their success recruit other individuals into the movement. Another great example of a movement success that we have seen is the safety movement. There are many organizations that had poor uh, safety records and today they have extraordinary spotless safety records because there was a movement that swept across the company. Today at one particular manufacturing client that we have, at the beginning of every meeting, people take out their badge, they turn over their badge and they look at pictures of their family that are posted to those badges and they remind each other in the room how important safety is and why it's important. That's a movement. It's an emotional movement. It's led by the people. It's not centrally controlled. And every change initiative, every shareholder value accretive strategic hill that you're trying to take can and needs to be a movement enlisting the emotional and, and community belief and action of the movement leaders.